welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time because it is Wednesday and that means we're doing a campground scooter tour, a virtual tour on the high-speed mobility scooter, Lou Red. I use the GoPro Hero 9 with the max lens mod so we've got great stabilization. Got to wait on a car. And so today we are in East Oklahoma, East Central Oklahoma on Sardis Lake. And we are going to explore Potato Hills Central Campground. <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you, this is a beautiful campground. But don't take my word for it. You'll see for yourself. Very gloomy, overcast. We've got rain coming. Had rain last night. And that's a good thing because this area is in a drought. Being an RVer, I gotta check out the dump station. Wow. That's a big hole. That's a big smelly hole. Be easy to hit that one. All right, let's go see some kit packs. This is a Corps of Engineer campground. And all your sites must be that must now be reserved through recreation dot. Go. Most of your Corps of Engineer campgrounds, at least so far on this trip, we've not seen any parts of gatekeepers. They're all automated. I haven't been down here, so you're seeing it for the first time with me seeing it the first time. So we're going to need to do that one from the opposite direction. I want to make sure you guys get the best perspective. That's the wrong, this is the wrong way, so this is the way we're going. Oh, these are beautiful campsites. They're all 30 amp. Water close by. Oh man, look at those. Okay, yeah, this needs to be on your list. About three hours from McKinney. Look at that one. That number four. Rockin'. Let's see what else. This, this look out, there's a lot of campsites in this campground. So we'll be looking on the left side going in and the, the left side going out. So I've, I've already driven through most of this campground, except I have not come down here. This is the loop I would recommend. Look at that one. Ooh, it's a cool, cool old dodge. Ten, 19, I think that was number 19. 
Yeah, site number 19. Primo. Honestly, though, there's... I, I don't think there's a bad site over here. These are easy to get level. Lots of shade. Well, this is Bigfoot country, so... Bring your Bigfoot spray. Alright. Move it right along! I didn't see no stop sign. <laughs> There's a lot of deer in these woods. We had one trying to commit suicide on our way here. Suicide by Trudy Thunder. Wow, these are some beautiful fights. Look at all the structure in that water. I mean, that's going to be some good fishing, too. I really like this site here. Site number four? No, 36. Site number 36 is a really good one. Cell reception out in this area is very spotty. We have Verizon. And we're able to make calls from here, but uh, in certain areas, anyway, like where we're headed now on this tour, we were not able to make any calls. She was not at Yappy's accompanying me. She was not able to use the phone back out back in here. That's what I'm trying to say. I have several group camps out here. Very, very big group loops. Not to be mistaken with fruit loop. And this is uh, one of those group camps. It looks like they had some kind of gathering going on. Well, that's a good fight right there. Speed to get up this hill. All 
All right. Once again, we'll be looking on the left, going in, and looking on the left, going out. There is a uh, severe drought going on right now in this part of the country. A lot of the forest out here is showing <clears throat> signs know, like the oak trees are all wilted. So rain of any kind is very welcome. I do believe I already talked about that, but when there's a drought, don't have a campfire. Where we were visiting the last two days, we were at, um, I don't even remember where we were. Whisker, we were at Whisker Lake State Park. And I, I ran across three untended campfires in the middle of the tinderbox dry forest. Don't do that. That's how forest fires get started.
Tornado Hill Central. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I really appreciate you staying with me up until this point. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And remember to click that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, that's why that's why i'm here thank you for that opportunity i really appreciate it and my patrons i am most grateful you rock all right y'all come back now you hear